Again, SketchUp is 3D as represented by the X, Y, and Z axis. So we could use the scroll wheel to navigate within the drawing area. You could also press Shift Z to zoom extent your drawings. And lastly, SketchUp is very easy and fun to use because you just need to draw the shape, then just pull the shape, and then just repeat. Again, we reiterate, SketchUp is all about edges and faces. So in order to generate the surface, you need to draw the edges that would define the face of that shape. And to properly generate your surfaces in SketchUp, we have to follow rules. So to demonstrate the first rule, let's click on the line tool and click anywhere on your drawing area. And by the way, SketchUp by default start drawing in the horizontal plane of the X and Y plane. So once you have clicked anywhere on your drawing area, drag it along the green axis. You would notice that it highlights as a green, constraining your direction towards that axis. And then just click, create another line from that point along the red axis. Constraining your direction towards that red axis. And then again, with your heart's desire of that length, click. Then similarly, go back along the green axis and wait until it infers to the end point of our first line. So once it detected that end point, an inference line shows that you're constrained along the red axis and at that end point and so click and to complete the loop we go back to the starting point and once we have clicked that we generate already the face again the first rule draw a closed loop of edges that are coplanar so again we drew on the xy plane or the horizontal plane so, all the edges are coplanar. The rest on the same plane. So, if we delete one of the edges or bounding edges of the face, the face will also be deleted. So, we undo by pressing Ctrl Z. And if we delete only the face by selecting it, so press spacebar to access the select tool and select the face. And it highlights. And then you could either use the erase tool or you could just press delete on your keyboards to erase the face. And we retained the edges. To bring back the face, we just redraw one of the bounding edge. Again, if we delete one of its bounding edges, the face will also be deleted. And completing the loop, we generate the face. Second rule in generating your surfaces is as I have demonstrated a while ago, always watch the direction of the axis and use inferring. To line up edges. So I am inferring from that end point, and from that point, I am constrained to the red axis. So I'll click, and then again, I make sure that I'm following the direction of the green axis, and then use that end point as my inference for the end point of this new line. Using the red axis again. And take note of your axis. This one is blue and therefore I'm going towards the Z axis. 
So, I'm creating a line which is not coplanar with the two first lines. So, in order to make it coplanar, I'll make sure that it is aligned with the green axis. You could uh, lock the direction of your lines by using the arrow keys before clicking the second point of the line. So, pressing the up arrow will constrain your line towards the blue axis. Pressing the left will constrain it along the green axis. And pressing your right arrow on your keyboards will constrain it towards the red axis. And for the down arrow, it will constrain it to either perpendicular or parallel to a reference line. So I want to use the green axis. So I'll press on the left arrow key on my keyboard. Constrain my line along the green axis. I could also input the length for this particular line. I'll type, let's say, 1000 and then enter. So again, always watch for your axis. If you are creating the surface in the XY plane, make sure that your lines are within the green and red axis. So what happens if I don't constrain my lines along the red or green axis? Let's try that. But again, use inference point. And then let's close the loop. It did not generate the face. Why? We try to revolve the lines are non co -planar. So, rule 2, always watch for the axis direction. To make sure you are drawing in the same plane. So, we could just undo and then complete the loop. We could type L as a shortcut for line. So, L. So, from this endpoint, and I could line up the edges again by inference. L hover and then... Click towards the desired point. And then hover again to an end point as an inference point. And wait for at least 2 seconds. And then click. And then close the loop. And in line with rule 2, rule 3 is about using inference points. As we demonstrated a while ago, watch for the green point to appear to signify end point, a cyan for the midpoint, a blue diamond if you're drawing on the face, and a red box if you're drawing along the edge. And for intersections, we have black. And last rule, rule number four, don't draw new edges over existing edges. Example, along that line. So what happens is, we try to use the select tool, we divided the line into segments. And this could be problematic sometimes in creating your models. In newer versions of SketchUp, you could just simply draw a line over the entirety of this edge. Well, from endpoint to endpoint. And it heals the face or it creates or defines the face. However, with the version that I have in the lower versions, you cannot fill that with this method, okay? So, what we do is just delete all those lines and recreate the edge. So, line again, so from endpoint to endpoint. So, creating lines would divide lines as well as faces. And conversely, deleting a line merges 
devices. For quicker way of deleting entities, click and then drag your mouse to highlight those you want to delete. And then release the mouse. So again, click, drag, release. Then to divide again the faces, let's just create lines. And then spacebar to go to select tool. Again, in creating or generating your surfaces, make sure that your edges are coplanar and they are closed loop of edges to define face. And always watch for the axis direction to make sure that you are drawing on the same plane. Thirdly, make sure to use inferencing to lock and constrain your line directions from a point inference or from line or linear inferences. And lastly, never draw new edges on existing edges.